To test a car relay, you will need a multimeter. There's two ways of testing it. One method is using a 12 volt car battery, or the other method is simply take the relay apart, push the coil together, and then test it. Essentially how a relay works is power comes in through two terminals and then closes a coil inside which completes the circuit for these two terminals. The first thing you want to do is change it to resistance which is the ohm sign. One of the things we should do is test the multimeter by putting the two terminals together and we should hear a beep. That beep indicates continuity. On the Audi the power comes into points 85 and 86 to activate 30 and 87. On the Ford relay, the power comes in through the small terminals and activate the large terminals. Let's just check the continuity between the power points, uh, which is 85 and 86. That gives us a, a reading of 82 ohms, which is something we would expect. What we're testing for in the Ford relay is continuity between the big terminals and in the Audi relay we're testing for continuity between 30 and the 87 points. We will now hook up the Ford relay to the battery and what we're aiming for is the small terminals on this one. You should hear a click. And we should hear a beep if the circuit is working properly. Which we do. With the audio relay, the power should be going through 86 and 85. So again, we'll connect the batteries up to these and we should hear a clicking sound. Which we do. So that would indicate it works, but we'll test it with a multimeter. Again, on the ohm setting, we should hear a buzzing sound. So that's working just fine. To open up a car relay, just get a screwdriver and on the Audi one, pry out each of the corners. Or simply get underneath the tabs on this Ford one. When power is put into the relay, the gap beside the coil closes. This in turn activates the large terminals. We can also test the relay by manually shutting the gap on the coil and the beep indicates that we have continuity and the relay is working.